Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Buckley and I will be your instructor for this course. So what are we going to be making? Well, we're going to be creating a app that accesses an API to display information to the user on screen. Specifically, this is going to be an app that shows upcoming firework displays in the Queensland area. Let's have a look at this app. Here in Unity, I have the app open here, and we can search by suburb. Um, if we just if we don't enter in anything, it just appears with all the suburbs here. And yeah, we can see that the locations as well as the date that they'll be happening. So, for example, we can click on one here, and it will show us information. It starts at 4:45 p.m. It's a public event, and it's close proximity. And we also have an address as well. And as you can see, there's also a little firework uh, effect going on here. We have different colored particles going off. You can also filter these selections by, let's just say we want to have all the firework events that are happening within the next 24 hours. We can click on today, and that'll show within the next 24 hours the uh, events. We can click on week to show them within the next seven days, and then we can go month as well to show within the next month, as well as all. So yeah. This is going to be an app, um, very versatile. This is just one example of what you can do with it. You can do many more sort of things with APIs, as the database we're going to be accessing has uh, hundreds, has thousands of different data sets you can access. So what are some of the things you'll be learning during this course? Well, first of all, we're going to be learning about how to connect to an API. We're going to be using the Queensland government data sets to access their APIs, as they have a wide range of different information available. Um, we'll be testing this out then in Postman, which is an API development environment that you can download. You can easily enter in APIs, enter in parameters, and then get the resulting JSON files to easily test it out before hopping in Unity. And when we do hop in Unity, we're going to be using the Unity's UI system to create a very dynamic uh, UI system for our app. I'll show you back in the editor here. What we're able to do is right now it is in the 9 by 16 aspect ratio, but what we can do as well is pretty much have this work in any aspect ratio. Here I'll go to uh, 16 by 9 and as you can see the UI stretches and warps to the respective uh, size of the screen. We can go back to phone, we can go back, we can try all these different aspect ratios, they all work. So we'll be using the Unity's UI system, uh, more specifically the anchoring and positioning of the UI elements as well as different layout groups. So we'll be going over a wide range of different UI aspects and components during this course. We'll also be using render textures which are textures that our camera can project onto to display whatever it's looking at. In our case, we'll be displaying the different firework particles that we'll have a camera aiming at, and then have that rendered to a texture which will then appear on top of the UI. Zenva is an online learning academy with over 400,000 students. We feature a wide range of courses for people who are just starting out or for people who just want to learn something they don't already know. The course is also very versatile, allowing you to watch them whenever or however you want, as well with the accompanying lesson summaries, you can choose to watch the lessons or read them, or even both. So let's get started on our project.